Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you something very important if you are selling on eBay or Amazon store and if you're considering importing small items or goods from Alibaba or in China generally now you must know about this uh, you have to first of all any gurus out there who's teaching you how to make money online using drop shipping from Alibaba or eBay drop shipping or whatever we we've all seen those ads on YouTube about Amazon FBA and things like that and eBay and drop shipping but none of the gurus will ever tell you they will always say oh it's easy start a business on Amazon start a business on eBay start importing from um, start buying goods from Alibaba what they don't tell you you have to realize and learn everybody needs to pay tax so most of the time they would never ever mention that in the start of their videos that you do need to pay your local tax so if you're in the uk you have to pay um hmrc vat and custom okay in america and i'm sure around the world they're always the same thing so make sure you are aware of that the chinese sellers on alibaba they are not they would not tell you because half of the time they don't care because all they want is to sell their products, right? So when you go on Alibaba, search it, they'll give you quotation and you place an order and when they shift that order to you, comes over in the UK, where is London, Manchester, Birmingham, whatever you are, whichever town you are, it comes in. The courier service, if they use DHL or whoever they use, FedEx, you are you will get a notice from the courier service to pay up the VAT on that amount. If you do not pay up, then they will send the goods back to China again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you find out all the information you need to know about the custom and excise. Okay, so the first thing to do, go into your site. Sorry, go into your computer. And then you log into gov.uk. That's the official UK government website, okay? There we are. Right. Once you're here, okay, now you can go to search button here and then Just put accept all cookies, all right? Should be a search button over there on the top, but let's use this one. We will type in notice 143. Now, here we are, notice 143, come down, and it says here, notice 143, a guide for international post users. And that's updated 26 February 2020. So click that. Notice 143, a guide for international post users. Okay, click it. Scroll down. Notice 143 users. There we are. Yeah, click it. And down now. Now here in this page, it will tell you everything you want to know what is this notice all about what is the charges what changed and the charge everything here it gives you answer do I have to pay import duties ever on VAT and goods sent to me there we are it tells you everything what are the limits and it gives you now it says clearly here, custom duty be becomes payable 
if the value of the good is over 135 pound which means if you order um item that's less than 135 pounds okay but on the other hand your postage makes up more than 135 pound then you are likely to pay VAT on that okay so even though your item you're importing or you're buying is less than 135 pound but the shipping cost they will add the shipping cost the taxman will add the shipping cost they will combine together it does not matter if your good is less than 135 pound 135 but because of the shipping will add up so if you were to buy something say example 200 and um say excess of 200 and something dollars okay 200 and 75 dollars or whatever and if you convert that into pounds it will be about 240 250 quid okay then you will be paying about 52 pound vat before you get your item delivered at home okay so bear in mind so here just look at it now 2.4 gives you the gift it talks about what qualifies it gives you a list of items here tells you everything go down and tells you all about importing goods international post okay right so Again, it's notice 143 come down here there is a notice bit, yeah, and you get to learn everything you want to know about importing from China or any other countries using postal post right so another thing you have to bear in mind so supposing you are um, you want to find a commodities tariff okay so the actual tariff they will charge so how do we do that we know if we buy anything more than 135 pounds the VAT will be 20% how do we know that there will be a custom tariff on top of that so what we need to do is go again go on the search bar and type in commodities okay so commodities tariff come down now we we have the commodities tariff here now you can look up the codes so come press codes start now green button here and now here as you can see gives you a list of products live animal vegetable product it gives you all product and the codes in the pages now whatever is relevant to you you look at it and another way of doing it if you do that look supposing we importing umbrella here we are umbrella sun umbrella okay and then you have to it's all clicking and looking around see what i mean there, there's a all these explanations so supposing we are just um importing or buying computer computer mouse for example let's go do that okay now we are not going to buy a nuclear reactor so don't worry about the boiler machinery so we come down and we look at this now here 
it's not giving us computer um, mouse is it so if we just click some of these now it gives us here keyboards others let's let's do others All right let's go back okay storage unit let's click some of these and then you get some ideas all right so here we are it seems we can't find computer mouse so we found keyboards a similar thing okay so basically it's a accessory to computers okay so there is no no tariff for that look zero tariff look third country duty zero so you are likely to just to pay VAT on that okay if any unit you're buying you will clearly say here state here VAT 20% and they will give you your tariff here so there is no tariff for mouse so the best thing to do is to study the gov dot or dot gov government website in the UK and then and then yeah learn these things before you ordering from Alibaba or whoever you want to use in China because you don't want to once you start importing you don't want to get a, a shock so you can factor all of your cost so basically go there notice 143 tell you all about international postal uses yeah all right and then the item you, you want to search commodities go to commodities tariff yeah. first trade tariff look up commodity codes if you know the codes is much easier start if you know the code just paste it here your code or name of the goods um supposing we want to import what we want to import uh what were most of the import uh, any uh, children clothes or whatever you want you just that's a computer all right computer there we are computer memories for you uh, uh, for example computer all right let's go for the computer then you just look down and it's basically just looking around for the uh, the taxes or if you're exempt basically right so I hope I have given you a bit of information regarding VAT and the tax and HMRC so before your shocker make sure stay within the law and if you do import factor in all this to your price and then you order for alibaba or chinese suppliers but the chinese suppliers no way will they will tell you about your tax in your country it's your responsibility it's not theirs what they will do is sell you the damn thing <laughs> You know, they're, they're in, their intention is to sell you the stuff. They will sell you, they will give you the cost of the item and the shipping cost. And it's your responsibility when it comes to here in the UK. As um, soon as your parcel arrives at your destination, which is the, if they're using DHL or they're using FedEx or whoever they're using, your courier will notify you by email of when you are and they will tell you that you need to pay 
the VAT or the or the customs before they will release your goods. Simple as that. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel and once again, thank you so much.